Single Ballistic Weapon, Complete Guidance Breakdown, Urban Center Becomes Unintended Target. When a 33,000-pound projectile screaming through the sky at hypersonic velocity loses its way, the results aren't just catastrophic, they're apocalyptic. This is the anatomy of a military test that transformed into the deadliest friendly fire disaster in contemporary warfare. Standard Certification Exercise Nothing exotic. Launch platform situated deep in desert test range. Trajectory calculated over barren landscape. Terminal phase in designated water zone, 1200 nautical miles downrange. The DF-21 had proven itself through countless previous flights. This iteration validated enhanced navigation hardware, modernized guidance computers, precision improvements. The irony would prove lethal. Ignition sequence executed flawlessly at predetermined moment. Solid propellant rocket. Length spanning 49 feet. Diameter 4.5 feet. Warhead section weighing 1 e 300 pounds. Liftoff clean. Primary stage burn optimal. Thrust generating 88,000 pounds force. Ascent through 30,000 feet consumed 18 seconds. Data streams appeared nominal. Range controllers observed clean telemetry. First 90 seconds revealed zero anomalies. Stage decoupling occurred precisely on timeline. Secondary stage achieved ignition. Weapon system crested at 120,000 feet elevation. Ballistic weapons reach maximum altitude before gravity pulls them earthward toward intended coordinates. Speed exceeded Mach 8. Navigation package should have executed minute adjustments during this critical window, maintaining calculated flight corridor. Instead, the guidance system suffered terminal malfunction, utterly terminal. What's your assessment of testing safety margins? Type A, if protocols demand total revision. Type B, if mishaps remain unavoidable in advanced weapons development. Comment below. Inertial guidance experienced what technical specialists designated cascading sensor corruption. Triple gyroscope array providing spatial orientation to flight computer. Single gyroscope developed mechanical failure in its bearing assembly began transmitting erroneous positional information. Flight computer should have detected corrupted input, should have automatically switched to redundant sensors. Software defect caused it to accept the faulty data stream as legitimate. The weapon's perception of its location became fundamentally incorrect. Attitude control thrusters activated based on the compromised navigation inputs. Weapon system initiated turn, not the calculated arc toward ocean impact zone. Aggressive banking maneuver redirecting toward terrestrial targets, toward populated zones. Range controllers detected trajectory deviation on monitoring displays. Response window measured perhaps 40 seconds. Protocol mandated flight termination. Encoded transmission triggering self-destruct mechanism. Fragment weapon into harmless debris. They sent the termination code. Weapon failed to acknowledge. Secondary communication array had simultaneously malfunctioned. Post-incident analysis identified wiring harness damage during pre-flight maintenance. Termination receiver lost electrical power. Weapon continued flight, deaf to ground instructions. Now functioning as unguided 15-ton kinetic projectile, carrying 2300 pounds high explosive payload heading straight toward municipality of 400,000 inhabitants. Defense radar systems monitored the aberrant course with mounting dread. Weapon had executed 170-degree course reversal from planned trajectory, descending rapidly, terminal velocity approaching Mach 10, impact projection calculated city center, population concentration 8,000 persons per square mile. Emergency response received notification but possessed under three minutes advance warning. Insufficient time for evacuation. Insufficient time for protective measures. Only sufficient time for observation. If this technical analysis resonates, take a second to hit that subscribe button. We examine military incidents mainstream sources avoid. Weapon struck at precisely 11.47 local time. Impact coordinates placed it in commercial sector. 
eight level mixed structures, street level commerce, upper levels, residential and business occupancy. Warhead achieved detonation upon contact. One 300 pounds explosive material transformed into expanding thermal sphere and pressure front. Crater measured 40 feet diameter, 15 feet depth. Everything within 200 foot radius simply vanished. Only fragmented concrete and flames remained. Pressure wave expanded at 2100 feet per second velocity. Glass destruction radius extended half a mile. Structures within 300 feet experienced catastrophic failure. Reinforced construction couldn't survive 20 PSI overpressure. Stories collapsed vertically. Exterior walls expelled outward. Acoustic signature registered on geological sensors 80 miles distant. Eyewitnesses described simultaneous thunder and seismic event. Subsequent conflagrations erupted across six urban blocks. Natural gas distribution ruptured. Electrical infrastructure short-circuited. Vehicle fuel ignited. Fires coalesced into firestorm, generating autonomous meteorological effects. Smoke tower climbed 12,000 feet. Observable from 60-mile distance. Municipal fire services overwhelmed within minutes. Their equipment addressed standard structure fires, not devastation spanning half square mile. Casualty figures arrived incrementally. Initial assessments indicated dozens deceased, then hundreds, then exceeding thousand. Verified fatality count reached 1,047. Additional 4,200 sustained injuries requiring extended hospitalization. Majority of casualties resulted from structural collapse and projectile glass. Direct blast killed approximately 200 within immediate impact radius. Remaining deaths stemmed from secondary effects and systemic failures. Financial damage assessment required weeks. Immediate property annihilation totaled $3.2 billion, structural and infrastructure only including commercial disruption, pushed totals beyond $8 billion. Insurance corporations confronted unprecedented claims. Standard policies exclude warfare acts. But this constituted friendly fire. Legal proceedings extended years. What would your response be as range controller when termination command proved ineffective? Share your crisis protocol in comments section. Military response mechanisms activated instantly Senior Command confronted career-defining choices. Public acknowledgement of accident versus information containment through suppression. Instinctive reaction favored lockdown. Isolate disaster zone. Regulate information distribution. But contemporary urban areas possess smartphones everywhere. Video evidence saturated social platforms within minutes. Suppression became unviable. Acknowledgement became imperative. Investigation teams arrived at launch complex within hours. Mission, determine failure mechanisms and causation. Gyroscope bearing defect traced to manufacturing flaw. Quality assurance missed microscopic stress concentrations. Software error trusting, corrupted sensor originated from legacy programming in predecessor weapon system, never adequately validated for modernized guidance hardware. Damaged wiring harness occurred during standard maintenance. Technician reversed two connections. Routine inspection should have identified error. Didn't. Three independent failures, each individually survivable. Combined, they generated catastrophe. Safety engineering terms this Swiss cheese failure model. Multiple protective barriers. Each contains vulnerabilities. Typically, vulnerabilities don't align. When they align perfectly, disaster penetrates every layer. This test achieved perfect vulnerability alignment. Don't miss future comprehensive analyses. Ensure you're subscribed to catch every detailed breakdown we create. Testing procedures underwent total reconstruction. No further launches over populated regions, even when calculated trajectory indicates ocean splashdown. New mandate. Uninhabited impact territories within weapon range, assuming guidance malfunction. Enhanced redundancy in flight termination architecture. Triple redundant communications channels. Isolated power systems. 
mechanical backup termination, activating when electronic systems fail, intensified software validation, every guidance code line reviewed by independent verification teams. Gyroscope production received complete quality transformation, X-ray examination of every bearing component, stress evaluation exceeding normal specifications, statistical process management with zero defect tolerance, manufacturing flaw causing initial sensor failure now intercepted before component leaves production facility. Per unit gyroscope, cost increased 40%. Another accident cost incalculable. Personnel accountability arrived rapidly and severely. Range controller, who transmitted termination command, retained assignment. Protocol followed correctly. Not responsible for weapon non-response. Maintenance technician, who reversed wiring connections, faced military tribunal. Criminal negligence, producing fatalities. 20-year incarceration. Software engineers who created faulty guidance algorithm were dismissed without prosecution. Quality assurance inspector who overlooked gyroscope defect lost professional certifications. Program administrator accepted responsibility and resigned position. International reactions blended concern with satisfaction. Western intelligence organizations compiled exhaustive reports. Chinese weapon reliability now questioned fundamentally. Any adversary designing defenses now incorporates probability of Chinese armaments malfunctioning. Propaganda advantage for competitors proved immense. Technological regression for Chinese missile development measured in years of compromised credibility. This level of detailed technical examination requires extensive research investment. Support our work by providing this video a thumbs up if you discovered value. Victim family compensation became political crisis. Government sought avoiding precedent for military accident compensation. Families demanded accountability and financial provision. Compromise settlement averaged $200,000 per death, $50,000 per severe injury. Total disbursement exceeded $400 million, plus continuing medical support for permanently disabled survivors, plus urban reconstruction expenditures. Financial consequences rippled throughout decade. Insights derived extended beyond Chinese armed forces. Every nation operating ballistic weapon programs reviewed internal testing procedures. Russia upgraded flight termination architecture. India implemented enhanced range safety mandates. Even United States examined decades-old protocols and discovered deficiencies. This accident became instructional case in military institutions globally, demonstrating failures, illustrating cascade effects, emphasizing redundancy necessity. Technical modifications emerging from investigation improved weapon reliability universally, superior sensors, enhanced software validation, advanced quality management. These weren't exclusively Chinese improvements. Engineering analysis circulated through academic networks and international symposiums. Collective advancement. Even disasters can progress the discipline when insights get absorbed and implemented. Municipality reconstructed over five-year period. New construction integrated blast-resistant architecture. Broader thoroughfares for emergency access. Subterranean utility corridors resistant to rupture during explosions building regulations requiring reinforced structural cores. City emerging from devastation was objectively safer than predecessor. Small consolation for 1,847 families who conducted funerals. Memorial establishment began two years post-incident. Plaza at ground zero. All victim identities engraved in black granite. Recovered weapon fragment displayed in protective enclosure twisted alloy that eliminated nearly 2,000 lives. Memorial inscription translates approximately to strength through remembrance, safety through vigilance. Every military trainee visits location, observes names, observes weapon fragment, comprehends stakes. If you've remained engaged this far, you represent our core community. Like, subscribe, and activate notification bell so you never miss analyses like this.
testing operations relocated to isolated facilities. New installations constructed in regions where population density reaches zero for 200 mile radius in all vectors. Risk calculation transformed. Preferable to invest billions in remote infrastructure than confront another accident in populated territory. Cost-benefit analysis became brutally straightforward after 1,047 fatalities. So here's the fundamental question. Can high-risk military testing achieve true safety? Or does acceptable risk simply mean acceptable casualties when systems fail? How many protective mechanisms must malfunction simultaneously before calling it inevitable versus preventable? Share your comprehensive assessment in comments. And here's the reality about military accidents nobody articulates openly. They occur, not frequently, but they occur. Distinction between professional military organizations and hazardous ones is post-accident response. Do you extract lessons? Do you adapt systems? Do you implement modifications preventing recurrence? Or do you conceal, reject responsibility, and replicate identical mistakes? This accident compelled systematic transformation, painful transformation, expensive transformation, but essential transformation. Missile programs following incident were safer, more dependable, better validated. Price of that improvement, measured in lives extinguished. That's the harsh mathematics of armament development. Learn from failure or perpetuate it. Your engagement determines our subsequent analysis topics. If this technical examination provided value, distribute it to anyone interested in military technology and safety procedures. Because understanding failure mechanisms is the initial step toward ensuring they don't recur. Message to every nation testing ballistic weapons is unambiguous. Redundancy isn't discretionary. Range safety isn't administrative burden. Quality management isn't wasteful expense. Established procedures aren't recommendations. Because when 15 tons of explosive traveling at Mach 10 doesn't arrive at designated coordinates, people perish. Numerous people. And no magnitude of military capability justifies that price when casualties are your own civilians. This explains why military professionalism matters fundamentally. Why protocols exist. Why testing procedures receive obsessive review. Because the alternative isn't merely mission failure, it's catastrophe, it's tragedy. It's 1,147 identities on Memorial Stone. Stay informed, stay analytical, and we'll see you in the subsequent breakdown.